Uh, Jenny Nakakos? Yep. Um, just the term self in respect to things like confidence, respect, beliefs in, ter in terms of views in themselves. How many of us are told to respect others? How many of us are told to behave around others? How many of us are, are told to look after others? Yet how often do you hear people say, look after yourself, respect <laughs> yourself, <laughs> take self worth, self confidence? You say the confidence to get up and speak. We all have the confidence to get up and speak. But how much self confidence do we have in ourselves to get up and speak confidently? <laughs> One thing that um, a person who has recently influenced me, my chemistry teacher, Mr. Mahir, <laughs> is that you need, to set a, you need to set yourself a price in life or people are going to set a price for you. You need to set a price, what's your worth? When you get a job, are you worth the minimum $30 an hour or are you worth $50 an hour? Are you going to sit at $30 an hour that people are set for you or are you going to go out there, work hard, struggle for what you believe in to get to that $50 an hour? Are you going to live by the standards that are set by people who do not know who you are? Or are you the one and only you that ever will, ever has, and that is now to exist, is going to work hard for what you believe in? Yeah. What I believe is that all of us have a lot of self-confidence as we're able to get up in front of everyone here, a bunch of random people we met once at a training weekend, and all of a sudden we can speak to in this house of youth par uh, parliament house, such a place of prestige. I believe we all have the self-confidence to go out there, influence not just ourselves, not just the people around us, but also the adults in our life who make the big decisions. We are the people with the power to make change, and I think we need to use it more often. Oh, yeah.